new reporting experience in Zendesk. Let's go. Let's go to the four squares and now let's go to analytics. I'm going to skip the dashboards. I'm just going to go to reports and I'll just go here and it says reporter builder beta is uh, available. Yes, I will try this and I will choose tickets. Thank you so much. Start reports. All right. So the interface looks kick ass and uh, let's go build our reports. All right. So in my reports, I want to see the contact reasons and uh, in my metrics this is what I need to uh, to filter by first so always remember to filter by the metrics so just going to take uh, tickets and I'm going to drag and drop it here in metrics and then in attributes I'm going to look for contact reason uh, here we go contact reason I'm going to take it and I'm going to drop it here in the columns and then um, I have to go here in my filters and I have to choose between either 30 days by default or let's say last 12 months run reports and here it is now I don't like how this is formatted so I'm going to go here I have in here a suggested display type and its table and look it's taking the contact reasons telling me tickets and it's showing me 813 that have no contact reason selected to them and then these ones that have been selected so which what this means is tickets have been solved and uh, the ones that have been solved with general questions is uh, is going to show up in the reports if you have not had any a contact reason attributed to you know your drop down and you solve the ticket then it will not show up in reports if you use tags you're going to have a bit of a bad time because that's harder to report on now what i can do is i can modify this from a table to a pie chart or bars uh, and yeah this starts to look uh, pretty weird <laughs> uh, I personally like the table one I think this is the by far the best way to look at data but I do like excels now let's switch this up a bit let's look at agent replies by channel so now if I want to delete everything uh, I just take it take the metric and I drop it here I drag and drop it here and it's deleted in here in rows I just take it drop drag and drop it to delete it and now it's good so I'm going to go to metrics and I'm going to go here in uh, this filter menu and click activity and then I have agent replies and this is a metric now let's look for attributes and I need to look at channel so ticket channel I take the row and I drag and drop this here now I have to click run reports I like how they change this up in order to save on the RAM that your computer is using or the resources that it uses you have to run it and look so by ticket channel I can see uh, the api chat email a lot of activity facebook messaging site conversation voice web whatsapp so yeah this uh, this is uh, very good for productivity especially for customer service managers uh, the previous one with contact reasons it's good for customer service managers too but it's also very interesting to business owners or somebody who is a director wanting to see how customer experience is doing and now you can take this and what you can do with it is you can save it you can obviously give it a name of course and what you can do with it you can uh, create a report clone it or you give it a name so let's uh, give it a name agent replies per year and then I will just tag it a new tag this is for me to remember for me and my colleagues to remember for example yearly replies replies save done all right and now I save this and it's ready. So as you can see, the experience looks pretty sweet and very easy to do. I'm not sure why Zendesk hasn't uh, fully committed to just making this the default instead of the, the older one, because you can still switch to the classic builder and uh, by default, you should have this one. I guess they're letting people have a bit more time to adjust to it. But um, overall, I like this interface much better. The UI is, uh, is a bit more solid. Be it, I don't know where everything is exactly like I've been used to in the classic builder, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited about this and I like how this uh, this looks and I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to just keep just using this one from now on and not, uh, and not using the uh, crappier one, but hey, you know, you, you do you boo boo, choose whatever you want. By the way, my name is Dominic. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. I'd be really grateful. If you need professional help, again, you'll find something in the description. You know, uh, we do this for a living. We're Zendesk partners and uh, I myself, this is my 12th year in the game. We love what we do and we'd love to be part of your team. So yeah, hit us up and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.